World War II. The Nazis were unstoppable. Their every move was hidden by a secret code, Enigma. No one could break it, until one man arrived, quiet, brilliant. His name was Alan Turing. Born in 1912 in England, Alan wasn't like other kids. He loved numbers more than people. He could solve complex problems in minutes, but struggled with small talk. They called him Odd. He was more than odd. He was extraordinary. When war broke out, British intelligence called him in. The Nazis used the Enigma machine, a device that changed its code every day, over 150 million million combinations, and lives depended on breaking it. So Turing gathered a team. The best minds from across the country, they worked for three years. At Bletchley Park, Turing built a massive machine, the first ever computer. Day and night, he worked. His machine, the bomb, began to decode Nazi secrets. Convoys were saved, bombings prevented. Historians say he shortened the war by two years and saved over 14 million lives. But after the war, there was no medal, no parade. Turing was persecuted, not for his work, but for being gay. In 1952, he was arrested, forced to choose prison or chemical castration. In 1954, at just 41, Alan Turing died alone. Some say it was suicide. Some say it was heartbreak. Today, every phone, every laptop, every digital life owes something to Alan Turing. He cracked the code, built the foundation of computer science, and paid the price for being different. This has been the story of Alan Turing, the man who saved millions with math.